hi and welcome welcome to another video um uh scratch tutorial here today i'm going to teach you about how to um chase a sprite with another sprite so i have one sprite chase another sprite and that sprite in this game we're going to control we're gonna get to move around so um let's just create a new sprite um let's just choose a sprite actually Um, I'll have an animal chase us. How about we can be that, um, we can be that, that cat. That's fine. Um, we'll have a dragon chase us. This looks like it could chase us. So we'll just have this dragon chase. Whoa, that is big. So we're going to set the size to like 40. That 40? Not even. 20 maybe? Okay, that's good enough. And so we're just going to set him uh, right here. Go to this when the flag is clicked. So we're going to just put this here so that the dragon will always go here. And we will program him more in a minute. Here we're just going to call this player. I'm going to quickly show you how to program um, to move the cat. It's going to be the one where you can go up and down, left and right. Um, so if you have already, if you, if you have, if you have watched the video on how to move, you're not going to need to do that. You just look at that video and we'll show you that um, these ways. If you have already watched that video, then um, go ahead and skip through this. But you can watch this if you want. So here, I'm just going to grab a uh, one flower clicked forever if key pressed. We're going to have if key right arrow pressed. So when we click the right arrow button, um, it should go to the right. So in order to do that, we're going to go to motion and grab a change X by, and we're going to do four. I don't know. I might want to change that, but we'll do that for now. And then we're going to do change x by minus 4. And that's going to be if key left arrow pressed. And then we're going to duplicate this whole thing. And put it extra. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it here for now. I'm going to take out these x's, change x by. We're going to do change y by. So the first one is going to be change y by 4. Second one, change y by minus 4. And right arrow, we're going to have it up arrow and down arrow. And then we're going to put this right in under that. Okay. And that's pretty much all we need for the cat program right now. Now we're going to go to the dragon program. And then we're going to do one flag clicked. But real fast, we're going to go over here. We're going to say, go to this right when the game starts. We're going to have him go here. And let's just try that. Let's just see if it works. So, yes, yes, up and down. You can also move this way and this way by the different, if you hold more than one key down. Is that good? You know what? That's probably good for now. We might change it. But if we go to a player, we're going to go to costumes. We can change it to this because he's running. Oh, and I have another idea. Change it to that costume. And then we're going to copy this whole thing. So we're going to click copy. We're going to go over here. Delete all this and then paste. Then we're going to do flip horizontal. Now when we go here, if key left pressed, Switch costume to costume one. If key right pressed, switch costume to costume two. And now if we click this, and you go this way and this way. When you go up and down, it just has the same costume as it was when you um, let go of that button because we haven't didn't make a uh, a up and down thing. And I think that's fine. Um, you could make it. You could like change it a bit, like grab the leg, move it a bit, um, like. 
do something like along the lines of this so you can and then you can just change that last one so it's like looks like it's he's running but um we're just gonna have that because we don't need to do that okay now we're gonna go to the dragon sprite so go to this and then we're gonna have him forever go to yeah, motion and then point towards we're gonna grab this one not a point towards not a point in direction or like yeah we're gonna have a point towards and with this drop down menu so we can select player not mouse pointer but player okay so point towards player and then we're gonna have a move one step now the dragon's chasing us and we have to move out of the way. The dragon points towards us. And chases us. If you think it goes a little too slow, then we can change it to two steps. If you want a real challenge, Four steps. And it's just pretty much just a matter of time before it catches up to you. Let's try three steps. Okay. That is pretty, pretty a lot. So we're gonna go to here, we're gonna say, we're gonna grab one more if statement. We can duplicate this because we can, it doesn't really matter. And just take out these two. And then go to sensing, grab an if touching, dragon, and you can then you can have like this backdrop that says you lose and stuff like that. But we're, we don't have time for that in this video, so we're just gonna have a quick stop all. Now, if we touch the dragon, if the dragon catches up to us, everything stops. So, now we can actually, um, real fast, if you wanted to, this is, this might be a little, a little much, I don't know. But when I receive message one, put this here. Then when I receive message one, put this here. Take that out of the picture and then we're gonna go here one flag clicked broadcast message one but before that ask and wait we're gonna ask um, dragon speed question mark and, um, and then we're gonna go to the dragon and we're gonna do answer answer and just in case we're gonna do set dragon speed and wait and then right before that we're gonna say if answer is if answer is greater than four, then say, I'm gonna have him go to looks, say for two seconds. Sorry, can not do more than four. Cannot do more than four. And okay. And then after that, then stop all so dragon speed if we do five 
Sorry, cannot do more than four. And it stops. Now here, drag and speed, if we do like three, now I can play. The drag and speed is now three. If we choose one, then the drag and speed is one. If we choose 2.5, it goes 2.5 steps. And you can um, you can also at the beginning, which I kind of like to do, like have like a start button or something. You could have like drag and speed, have like a button that says um, move two steps, three steps, or four steps, or whatever you wanted to do. But um, that's we don't have time for that in this video so i hope you learned a lot i hope you um learned how to make the dragon actually or a um sprite chase another sprite i know we kind of got a little off with our like answer dragon speed and stuff but i thought that would be pretty cool so we did that and um so thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you have a question